This is the beginning of the first single player LP on this channel. Now, there's going to be several of these between me and uh, Ingro Steyer, who is, by the way, my partner on this channel, if you don't know that already. And we're also going to be doing some multiplayer stuff. But, before I show you all our random multiplayer shenanigans in this game, which actually takes place later on in the game, I'm going to show you the beginning in a single player LP, and I'll probably have them both going at the same time. But, anyway, let's get started. Alright, so that's my character for our multiplayer. But actually, I'm going to do some something different for this. If you don't know what Starbound is, it's a sandbox game. Sort of, it's sort of like Terraria, it's two-dimensional. But you can travel throughout a universe and explore different planets, and it's actually quite interesting and awesome. So, since I, I am a robot in the other one, I'm going to be something different. I'm probably going to be... Speed and the speed is this. It's it's a Nova kit. It's it's a newer thing. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure what color I should be. Let's go with it. Looks kind of adventurous. Looks like he has a whip. <laughs> Indiana Jones whip. Belly button. I don't understand how that has any. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to be male. I don't know why I was female. Whoops. Cool. Oh, that that. Gives me a sort of Sonic the Hedgehog sort of sort of feel with that one. I think I'm gonna go with gonna go with that. And no, I am not Nanikia Fennelheart. I don't I don't get it. I am Sync Shift. I'm casual because we're just starting here. All right, let's go. Let's dive right into it. Big bang. I don't remember how I got here. My ship has been damaged. I need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Okay, so our ship is kind of broken. <laughs> and it wants... What? That is... Um... I'm gonna just... Disregard that for now. Oh! Golly. Error. Sail. Inner loop. Some smacks. You're not having a very good day, are you? Let's, let's give you a reboot. <laughs> okay, that's better. I, I guess I got like a horse as my AI. Hello, thanks for that. I am Sale, and I will be helping you out. I've restored the backup power for you. Thrusters and FTL drive are still offline. We should start by enabling your matter manipulator. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is the most important tool for right now. It's the only tool I've got, so <laughs> that's why it's the most important. Matter manipulator allows you to pick up, move, and collect objects and materials. So that's going to be real crucial for our game. So I'm going to need to get core fragments. I know how to get them already because I have played this a little bit. But first thing I need to do is enable a teleporter so I can go down to the planet. All right. Now I'm going to. That's the ship's locker right there. I'm going to get some stuff out of that. To repair the thrusters, I need to dig really deep into the earth and find this ore. Oh, I get guns. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yes, okay, thank you. Um, I'm holding torches. Uh oh, I'm placing torches, so I don't know what I'm doing. It's time to make a crafting table. Okay, I need to go down to the planet before I can do that. Um, let's get this torch back. Thank you. Alright. Here we go, beaming down. Now, I did play Starbound before the big update. So, I kind of know basically what to do. I got corn already. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. This is bad. I'm in I'm in the same world. I don't know how that happened. Well, I'm going to I'm going to just pretend that I'm in a different world. This is the same world me and Synchro Star were playing on. I don't get how we're on the same world cuz we were playing on a server. Well, either way, I'm going to I'm just going to go the other way. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for our, um... I don't think we actually... I, we didn't record any anything from this world in our multiplayer LP, so... I don't think it's that big of a deal if I show anything, but... I don't want to have all the stuff given to me, like... There might be items and stuff. I, I don't want to cheap out. I want to earn everything on my own, from scratch. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm using this matter manipulator to break down trees and get wood. Because you need wood to make a crafting bench. 
if you're wondering how to do this, you just hover over something and click on it and hold click. Just sort of like in Minecraft, in Terraria. So, and if you want to select an item, you just click on it on your hotbar. And you can even use hotkeys. But I don't think you can do that for the matter manipulator. I think you have to click on it. At least I don't know if you can. Alright, I'm gonna chop down a couple more trees. It's quite tedious, and I apologize if it's a little bit dry, but... Okay. Okay. So, now I gotta open up my inventory. You click I to open up your inventory. And, oh, my wood's on my hotbar. I am gonna click... You can shift click items in this, too. And you have two inventories. Don't forget that. It's quite a bit of storage. Right, um, plant fiber. That's useful I also. Those are those vines I was breaking down. Break them down the same way you break trees. Tomatoes. Or, uh, pur uh purple pea. Pearl pea. Pearl pea. Okay. Whatever, that works. That's food. I got corn and I got pearl peas. So, okay. Now to craft, you gotta click C. I'm gonna craft some wooden planks. I'm also gonna craft a campfire. Um, that is quite important too, because you need that to cook food. Although I already have some plant food, but I'm going to need it for a quest. And bandages. This is why you need the plant fiber. Because this is the most easy way to heal yourself if you get into trouble. Because there are dangerous monsters in this game. I did see one earlier, I didn't exactly mention it, but... Rope. I don't know how to use that, because that wasn't in the old version. Or it was, but it wasn't really useful. So, I'm just going to hold off on that right now. Until I learn some more, because there are some things I don't know. It's going to be a little bit blind in some places. Okay, I need more planks. Okay, now I have enough to create the crafting bench. Quest complete. Oh, another quest complete. Oh, the bandages. <laughs> okay, now I need to fight something to make to get food. I need a bow for that, which means I need more plants. Oh, jeez, it's nighttime. Um... Okay, I gotta be careful now. I gotta stay at a distance, because the only weapons I have are ranged weapons. Now, if you're wondering, if you go in your inventory, you can dual wield items to place them in this slot. Because this is a one-handed weapon, I can use that dual wielding. So if I can, like, hold a flashlight and also have my gun. So that's pretty nice. But this gun is more powerful, so I'm probably gonna use it. I apologize for the darkness. <laughs> okay, here we go. Combat. Okay, that guy wasn't really tough. He didn't he didn't really rush at me. And if you're wondering what that sound was, it was my energy. It takes energy to use weapons. Like guns. Use it's a green bar. And if I shoot my gun too much, I lose my energy and I have to wait for it to recharge. Okay. Oh, it's lagging. Um I think I'm gonna place this down. Can I not? Okay, I need to smooth the surface a little bit. There's a flower in the way. Okay, got it. Okay. Hopefully I don't get attacked while I'm doing this. You know what, I'm gonna place down this as well. If I can. Yeah, okay, and it got some light. You used to freeze to death in the old version of Starbound. I don't know if you still can, but I don't want to take any chances. <laughs> Okay, what was I going to do? Right, I'm going to get more of these first. Hunting spear. Oh yeah, hunting bow. I need boar crafting, or a yeah, plant fiber. This stuff. Yep, because I used a lot of my other plant fiber on bandages. So I think the first thing I'm going to do when I get the chance is travel to a new planet so I have something fresh to explore. I'm in the same universe, that means. So I'm going to try not to travel to planets me and uh, Synchro Star have been to. I might just travel to a whole new galaxy, to be honest. So that we don't have that much of a chance. Alright, hunting bow. Now, the hunting bow is quite simple. It's basic drawback charge bow. Click and hold. But, you see how it glows? If I can let go of an arrow just as it's glowing, I get a crit arrow, which does extra damage. Now, I... Oh, gosh. Well... I get a crit. 
getting him before. There we go. See, that did a lot more damage. 45. Alright, now I have this food. Now to get the achievement, I need to cook it like that. And there we go. Alright. Make more advanced items, only to craft a stone furnace. Oh, and I'm sorry about skipping all the text. It's not that important. So you can pause the video and watch it if you really want, or read it if you really want to. Stone furnace, be able to cook metal bars. Okay. Alright, so... Now I need to get stone. Stone is fairly easy to find. Just need to look around. That, you're there. That's stone, that's stone. I'm gonna grab some of this. Almost bang for my buck here. I apologize if I'm skipping ores because I'm not. I'm only gonna get ores if I really need them. I don't want people to get mad like, "Oh, you missed some iron." Well, I probably did on purpose because I, I I don't want to get every little piece of iron that is there. Okay, there's something flying above me. Hopefully, it's not something that's gonna attack me. Okay, the corn's already regrown. That's nice. You get plant fiber from those as well, so that's nice. Okay. Oh gosh, another plant. Campfire. Oh, sweet. I long shot at him. I want to get these pixels, too. Pixels are important. You get them for killing monsters or from little capsules you can find laying around. And you can use them to craft stuff. And I remember in the previous game, you used to be able to make a 3D printer. So, you know, sometimes you can get food without using the hunting bow, but the hunting bow guarantees that you get it, so that's why you need it. Okay. So, yeah, pixels are useful. I need to collect them. And if I die, I'll lose them. So, I need to try not to die. Okay, campfire. Oh, I'm lagging. Sorry about that. Oh, it's morning. Okay. And furnace. So the reason why I'm not crafting a house, or creating a house, is because I already have a house in this world with Big Gross Iron. I don't want to... I don't want to make things confusing. So, I'm just going to travel to a new planet and make my home there. Need better tools, I'm going to survive. Okay, I can smell copper and stuff. Those are the ores I was talking about. Copper, iron. Copper is what you use to make tools. And silver, but those are like higher tier tools. Silver is rare, so... See, I got all sorts of stuff. You use even platinum and gold and titanium. There's even diamonds later on, as far as I know. There were in the old game, at least. Let's, like, get some of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna keep the food on my hotbar. The corn. And the bandages. I wanna save the wood. I'll use cobble as some sort of building block. Alright. I think I'm gonna pack up and travel into the earth. First thing I'm gonna need because I need core fragments before I can travel with my ship. And I need to go down into the earth for that. First I'm gonna get some coal so I can make torches. I'm not just gonna dig straight down because that would take a long time. I'm gonna try to find a cave. Well, that might take longer, <laughs> honestly. If I can't find a cave, we'll just dig straight down, but I at least want to get, like, a pickaxe or something before I try to do that, because with this matter manipulator, yeah, it'll be tedious. Um, I think those... Shoot on sight. Didn't drop pixels. That one did. So we have explored this planet, me and him. I don't know if we explored the whole planet, but... Okay, these things... Oh, those capsule things, you want to be ca cautious with those, because they can give you random status effects. Sometimes you can get something good, like flight, or speed, or strength, but sometimes they'll give you poison. So I'm just not going to touch it, because I don't think it's worth it for the risk. Not this early, at least. I don't have a lot of bandages. I don't want to put myself in that kind of danger. Alright. More monsters to fight. Oh, he jumped too. He missed me, though. It's close. Okay. The monsters are really interesting in this game. They're randomized, they have different special abilities. Some of them launch fire at you. Those ones are very tough. I experienced one of those in the old game. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about it much more. Man, taking ores... Finding ores takes forever with the matter manipulator. Hate it. Oh, jeez. I lagged. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy right now, because I'm... traveling to New York Terrain for the first time. 
Which actually might mean that me and Secret Star haven't been to this part of the planet yet. I know we traveled really far to the left. Oh, those are those capsules that drop pixels that I was talking about. I'm not gonna bother trying to go down. Oh, he's not attacking, okay. Oh, that is wheat. That is very useful for creating food. Okay, this is what I was looking for. This kind of thing. Alright. Well then. We've made it this far. Before I go any deeper into the earth, I think I'm going to end off the episode. And next episode will be a caving episode, which is quite interesting. The caving in this game is very interesting and dangerous. So, stay tuned. Leave a like if you enjoyed this series. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, because I'm going to try to upload this series regularly if I can. Thank you for watching.